All right, it's Michael. Hi, this is Domino. From Craft and Antler. We just hit a thousand subscribers, and for that, we're gonna do a special video of our studio. If you like us, please subscribe to our channel. For our studio, we actually renovated our basement. So here's a photo of before and after. All right, guys. So our studio is downstairs in the basement. We're walking down the stairs now. On our left, we have our studio. Let's turn on the lights. All right, so for our camera setup, we're using an iPhone 11. And as you can see here, we got the Godox SL60W. We got two of these. Better angle here. So I'm gonna move on to this table over here. And this is where we house all our tools. We have some edge bevelers here, as you can see. I think this one is Kyoshin L. We have the other ones that we use over here. We have wing dividers that we use. Blue spatula. This is a really handy rotary cutter. We use this pretty much every single day for cutting straight leather. And here are my Japanese scaving knives. These are used to cut leather and they're super sharp. Let me try and get the sheath off with one hand. It's a little difficult, but we'll get it off. There we go. So this one you see, it's um, I call it Black Dragon. There's like a dragon on there. Not sure if you can see. There we go. Made in Japan. Glue that we use right here. And these little cups and holders here are used to store a token hole and also glue when we need small amounts. Edge slickers. Edge slickers right here. We have an awl for drawing lines on leather. This is about all you need for leather craft. All these tools are here. So as you can see from the left side, we have these mats. These are mats for using the, for using the stitching irons. So we don't punch through the table. Over here is a cutting mat, so this is a cutting surface. This is where we do the majority of cutting for leather. So this machine is actually from Tandy Leather. And it's an edge creaser. So we use this to crease edges on our leather products. This machine is our skiving machine. It's the Texo SK4, as you can see. So. This machine is basically used to skive down and thin down our leather edges. Over here we have a four story shelf. And it houses our packaging on the top. And our leather. So as you can see from our inventory we have... Over there is the Pueblo leather that we use made in Italy. This is all our crazy horse leather. That we're, that we're using right now. I'm gonna move back and give you a better angle. There we go. All right, moving on. Let's move on to our uh, tool deck. So here we have the Nifty Dymo Label Writer 4XL that we use to print out labels to fulfill our orders. I'll show you up here first. So here we have some tools. We have our cards that we use to pack our orders with. You know, leather care. Here we have some edge die. Same thing, edge die. This is foil for gold foiling, for creating, writing names down, etc. Here are some stickers that we use to pack our orders with, some stamps. This is Nico. Nico is our lucky cat that we got from the Godokuji Temple in Japan. As you can tell from my hand here, he's about almost a foot high, I guess. A little less.
All right, so this workbench is pretty cool. It comes with a pull-out surface to work on on both sides. Let's go through number one, what we have in the shelves. So here we have what appears to be a rotary hole punch. We have a thread zapper here that we use to zap the threads. We have some this leather bomb. This is our leather straw for sharpening our tools. We have a whetstone over here, uh, extra X-Acto knife blades. We use the X-Acto number 11. Down here we have some cotton balls, some paint brushes, etc. So here we have some of our finished products. These are our keychain dies. And, and this is the die for the coasters. Next shelf. Oh, here we have Dream Factory Stitching Pony. This is used to hold the leather projects so we can hand sew them. It's used primarily for our card holder wallets. Here we have the mat for the cricket machine and tape. Down here we have a lot of accessories. Got some key rings we used to make our keychains out of. All these rivets down there. Hope you can see. This is token oil. This is for polishing the edges of the leather product. And glue. We use EcoWell glue. Uh, over here, we just keep our manuals. Here we have our thread and bobbins. Over here, we use Vinimo. I'm sure, if you can see, there we go. Vinimo. This is thread for hand sewing. And down here we have just a lot of scrap leather. On this side we have our craft and antler sign. Our craft and antler plaque that we got. Looking nice, huh? Here's our cricket machine, and this has been a very nice machine for us. It's a nice machine. Got a GoPro charging. This is our sew machine. So before we got the sew machine, we used to hand sew everything in our library uh, slash office. In another video, I'll show you our library slash office that where we work and get our admin stuff done. So this is a really nice machine. It comes with the work light, so you can see this. This right here is really handy. This. It moves the foot up and down so you can get your projects out nice and quick. Texo 4800 Pro. Alright, now a 360 of our space. So here's the workstation with all the tools. Skiving machine, all our leather, another workstation where we store our goods, Nico the cat, and back to our sewing machine. And that's about it. This is our studio.